score the pin. One, two, Must have something different in mind here. Wow. Now look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's hurting now. If he doesn't get out of that corner, he's going to be hurting even worse. Big first right into the buckle. And what a reversal from Rusev. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. in off the tag. If you're just joining us, welcome to Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole alongside Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. Some mm. good contact by Lana. Forearm to the face. Oh, oh, nothing fancy about that. Oh, she turns it around. Neck breaker. Ouch. Right between the eyes. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Just tossed. She could airline mouse for that. One, two. Proving tough to catch. There's the call. Hooked him up. High angle belly of back suplex. Lana may be slowing some here. Booming boot. Hello, Buster. She seemed to have gained the advantage here. Momentum has clearly swung her way. Caught into a dragon screw. Game changer. Beautiful drop kick. She steers clear there. Setting them up. Arm is trapped. Pump handle. Slam. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. It's Lana with the offense. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Back breaker. She's in control. You're an Augie. It is very clear that Lana is feeling the physicality of this contest. That's over at this point. Uh-oh. Look at this. Blue Thunderbomb. This has got to be it. We got to cover. One, two, three. That ends this mixed tag match. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. I thought there might be some tension between these two heading in, but I guess not. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match.
In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey, you deserve it. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from, but like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right, good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. What do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, The Iconics. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why, Why Australia, Australia is better. better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, 
Let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one. A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey. <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before, so what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match, and I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay, so you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent raised her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three. Never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated Law 3. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. If you're just joining us, this is a nine title match with the stipulation that if Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics, they earn a shot at their tag team titles. However, if the Iconics win, Mickey James' career... Will 
be over. And Red and Mickey are clearly not 100% after that brutal attack by the Iconics. Look, no one wants to see a pioneer like Mickey James have her career come to an end, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling it'll be sooner as in tonight at the hands of the Tag Team Champions. Tying up the legs now. Oh, look at the surfboard! Oh. Shoulders on the mat. Looks like she has other plans here, Byron. I'm sure they're not going to be pleasant. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Suplex. She's looking relentless now. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. The cutter. That offense taking a toll on her. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Delivering the suplex. Setting them up. Arm is trapped. Pump handle. Slam. Hammer lock. Uh oh, uh oh. Watch out here. You're an Augie. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. Cut off before she can make a tag. And her partner looks absolutely deflated right now. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. <laughs> She's in full control now. Backbreaker. Woo wee. Bella Buster. The fatigue is setting in for her. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Peyton Royce was able to get out of the way there. Talk oh, about man. dismantling your opponent. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In the tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out hasn't... Uh-oh. Look at this! Blue Thunderbomb! This has got to be it. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. Neckbreaker! So smooth. It's obvious Billy Kay is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. This is bad, guys. I don't even think she has enough power to get to her corner to make the tag. Nothing's going to stop her now. She continues to press forward. This could be huge. You're an Augie. Struggling to get to the corner here. Why not make it, Michael? Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She's in control. You're an Augie. showing such creativity. Big reversal. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. Heavy Ooh. duty right hand. And here's a cover. Two, 
Oh, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Gets out of dodge there. Wow, she turned that one around. Struggling to get to the corner here. Might not make it, Michael. A missed attempt there. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. Oh, what a counter. Knife edge chop. Billy Kay, can she do it here? No trouble getting out of that one. Nice kick out. She's looking a bit out of it here. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Boom, oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Setting them up. Arm is trapped. Pump handle. Ouch. Desperately needs to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be tough to make it to the corner. That'll absolutely give you a headache. That's for sure, Michael. You can't prepare your face for that. She's got the shoulders down. And there's the save.
Billy Kay showing such creativity. And again, yet another counter. Hey, swing boat. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. Middle rope, missile drop kick. Hit the target. Big punch finds its mark. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Side slam. She's got, will this be it? Can you imagine thinking this one was over and then he kicks out like that? Jarring. She's gaining momentum here, guys. Dictating the pace of the match now. Whoa, not so fast. She ducks out of the way there. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. She's definitely dazed now, guys. Yeah, her head. And this has got to be it. And there's the save. She's going to try it again. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Side slam. Devastate. This couldn't do it. And that's it. This one is over. Here are your winners. The Queen and Mickey James. Very nicely done and a very important victory. When it comes to impressive women, this girl might just top the list. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw these teams going back to it at some point in the very near future. That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the Tag Team Championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter, we'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag or willy willy tag as we say down under hey mickey you should pack an extra week of clothes you know so you can go on holiday in australia after we end your career we'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts <laughs> <laughs>
You have to believe the Iconics have a major advantage here tonight at Super Showdown, competing in front of their home country fans in an Australian Rules Tag Team Championship match. And don't forget, Red and Mickey have the added pressure of Mickey's career being on the line. If they lose, this chapter of Mickey's life is officially over. That's all true, but we shouldn't ignore the fact that Red has added win women's tag team championships with Mickey James to her list. And she has a very successful track record when it comes to achieving her goal. Reverses, can she take advantage? Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. She's got her. Planted neck first. Ooh. Big boot. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Overhand right lands. Connected on that. Boom. Ooh. Down across God. the knee. What a clothesline. Ouch. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. She goes to the outside now. Uh, I think she's starting to get worried, Michael. Hooked him up. Back in the ring again. Wasn't expecting that. Billy Kay showing such creativity. Big back body drop. What elevation. What a cutter! Oh, oh man! Gosh, why? Bam! What a slap! Uh uh. Red goes for the Irish whip, but gets sent into the corner instead. And now here come the Iconics, pouring it on in front of their home crowd. This does not look good for Red and Mickey, and by extension, Mickey's career. What are the Iconics doing? Oh, I think it's time for a game of cricket. Red and Mickey have other plans. This is a bit of revenge for what took place before their match on SmackDown Live. And since Australian rules is no disqualification, it's perfectly legal. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. That's twice now, Byron. Yeah, she really knows how to handle that, huh? Oh, perfect kick. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Hey, Roy's got her there. Again with it. She's showing no mercy tonight. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. It's locked in, the Koji clutch. This could be it. Not today, guys. I can't believe she broke out of that, Michael. Oh, nasty impact. Harsh impact. Oh, strip over for the championship. Get Billy K gets that shoulder up. Yeah, this early, no chance. Billy Kay showing such creativity. Hammerlock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Armbreaker. Nice drop kick. Gets out of the way. And fast. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. To the outside. Setting up for a neck breaker. The challenger is not in a great place. Forearm to the face. Oh, oh, nothing fancy about that. Back in the ring now. Uh-oh. There it is. Did you hear that crack? That's a good way to make your presence felt. Uh-oh. Look at this! Blue Thunderbomb! This is K 
got to be it. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. New champion. One, two, three. Not only has Red Help Mickey James ward off retirement, they're now the new women's tag team champions. To win this match under the pressure they faced and do it in enemy territory under the Iconics rules is truly impressive. Honestly, I think a lot of credit goes to Red and her list. Someone said it before the match, that list is a powerful motivational tool for Red. Yeah, that someone was me, Corey. Nah, it couldn't have been you. It probably was Cole. And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. She was now my tag team partner and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do, but hang on a second. Earlier you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. Mickey went on to defeat Kyrie Sane, giving her two championships and continuing her incredible winning streak to avoid retirement. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like Mick Foley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should...
Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Ugh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title. And I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will, sooner rather than later, I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all of that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> You know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. Months ago, Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career. Tonight, after issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. Well, if you ask me, Red's being extremely selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how Red approached her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she'd want it to be to Red. Well, I for one will never understand that. Oh, wow. Set up for the oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Cover by the champ. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Swinging neck breaker connects. Oh, able to counter. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. Middle rope, missile drop kick. Hit the target. Definitely not where you want to be right now. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. She can withstand the punishment, though. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. For the win to retain the championship. And another kick out. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Not what she was looking for. Ooh, right to the face. Finds its mark. Ouch. Situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Hello, Buster. Some hard offense landing on the champ. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Caught. Uh oh. Dragon screw. Great reflexes. Uranagi. 
Now in full control. Oh, God, that hurt. That's how you wear down your opponent. She's in control. Ah, what a neck breaker. Evading possible disaster there. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Oh, this could be something. Very difficult position to be in right now. Side slam. Gonna see a new champ cover by the challenger. One, two, three. And the pinfall gets him the win. Months ago, Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career. Tonight, after issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. Well, if you ask me, Red's being extremely selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how Red approached her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she'd want it to be to Red. Well, I, for one, will never understand. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? She's not done yet. Changes her fortune there. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Mickey James was able to get out of there. The hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh! That's oh, going to break an arm. Oh, oh stomping away. Here we go. You're an Augie! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oh, man, backbreaker. She's in control. Ooh, neckbreaker. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Larian! Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Not yet. Just a step quicker. Hello, Buster! Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. And finds a counter. And now that one's countered. Just carrying the opposition here. Wasn't expecting that. Close line over the top rope. All the way to the floor. Lives to fight another day. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. And down with the suplex. She steers clear there. And a suplex. She's gaining momentum. Mickey James appears to be on her last legs. I'm sorry. Red hits the Mick kick. Is this the end for Mickey James? It's all over, Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end. Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute, continuing to defend the tag championships and not ending your idol's career. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey.
And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. <laughs> 